Salut tout le monde. Hello everyone, my name is Liz and today we will be unboxing this very special Pokemon 20th Anniversary Edition Red and Blue version new 3DS. That is quite a mouthful. Which was kindly lent to us today by the very same person who helps us get through Grim Fandango in our Let's Play series. So we'll be taking a look at this together. So here you can see the front of the case. I got the sticker on here. Now the person who owns this is not currently here so I don't know if I can take this off. But that is what an EB Games sticker looks like, if you are interested. Comes with two cover plates, comes with the red and blue versions of the game, and it is swanky as all heck. Now the box was actually slightly damaged, so no one can blame me for breaking the thing this time. On the top you see that it is the 20th anniversary Pokemon. On the bottom you've got the pretty general information. New 3DS info on the side, here you've got the 20th anniversary design, which is pretty much all over the place. In the back you've got some pretty standard information it looks like that's just telling you about the features. There's a nice little 20th anniversary logo in the red and blue or bl red and blue <laughs> color scheme. So we'll be getting this open and taking a look at the contents inside. Now this box isn't actually taped, it just comes out with a little slidey thing here, and then we can just pull it open like so. Not as easy as I make it sound, though. <laughs> There's a continuation of the 20th anniversary pattern on these little flaps here. And then we can pull out the contents of the box. Ooh. So, uh, I believe I got everything in there. So, as usual, you've got the nice little packet of information in here. We've got AR cards, the manual for the 3DS, and this, I believe, is the code for the game, so I'm just going to get my thumb over the code itself before I show you what this looks like, because I want to make sure that the person who owns this can hold on to it. So here you can see they've got art for the two different games that you can get. On the back, you've got instructions on how to redeem it, which is nice. Oh, that's the Spanish instructions. I guess the English and French ones are inside. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I guess it's not exactly pre-installed. Oh no, it's an actual theme. So the games are pre-installed. This is for a home menu theme, which is pretty nice. It's always good to have bonuses. I'm going to set that there face down because I know that when games are pre-installed on the 3DS, trying to transfer your software over can be kind of a hassle. These are uh, just normal AR cards like you get with every 3DS. I'm just going to set those aside. I'm not going to open up everything 100% because, as I said earlier, it is not really mine. You got some instructions for the cover plates here. Oh, that's nice. You don't need a tri-wing screwdriver, which is a change for, uh, for Nintendo content. But I suppose if you're meant to be taking things off, then they want to make it easier for you. And you've got the usual quick start manual. Pretty standard stuff. So now we're going to take a look at the actual cover plates and such that are inside. Here you can see the Blastoise cover plates. Oh my goodness, here I go dropping things. It's okay, it's not broken. Everything is fine. So you can see that they've kept the design very faithful to the original uh, Pokemon Blue cover art. And you've got the little 20th anniversary logo in the bottom there. I like how subtle that is. It's quite nice. You've got some screws here for the plates, so you don't need to be uh, worrying about keeping the screws, taking them off your plate, and then switching and putting it on the new plate, because they are provided with your plates. And then on the inside, you've got Nintendo logos, pretty standard, just manufacturing information. So we'll set these aside for now. And then in here, I believe, we've got the Charizard cover plate here. You can see the top one. Uh, is the bottom one in here somewhere too? Ah, the bottom one is actually attached to the device at the moment. So we'll be sliding this out. There we go. And here is the 3DS itself with the bottom cover plate. So just to show the cover plates here, because I won't be attaching this myself, but you can see that the design is just as nice as the Blastoise one, really. They're both quite amazing, in my opinion. And then on the front, you can see the front, uh, the top of the new 3DS has got a bunch of information underneath where the cover plate goes. You open it up, got the nice 
hinge that's very quiet compared to older 3DSs. Got your colored buttons, got your nib, pretty standard stuff for the new 3DSs. These sliders make a nice click when they hit the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the stylus is just normal white, as you can expect. So that is it for the Pokemon Red and Blue uh, 20th Anniversary New 3DS. It is pretty dang swanky. I know that I would be definitely into that if I were to get it myself. But for now, this will be something I can look at from a distance. So thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and we'll see you next time.